just get back from Menards. Had to go get some carriage bolts for the bumper that I want to get mounted up here tonight. And we had a little bit of a change in events. The, there was a decent sized storm come through here, including a tornado and took out a bunch of people's places or took off a couple house house roofs and a few knocked knocked over some chicken barns and some old barns yeah it's kind of destructive but didn't hit me which is you know good and everything but that yeah referring to that I was out of electric for well Friday night all day Saturday till today at about 11 so yeah I'm a day late on filming what I or doing what I wanted to do but yeah just got back from Menards got me some um, half inch carriage bolts right here so I'm gonna go back in there and get cracking at it should be able to get that bumper on tonight that's what I want to do this license plate is from the truck out there parts truck and it's got some pretty good patina on it some dry vinyl cracking or paint cracking so yeah I have too much action I got two more Two more cool, cool ones here I'll show you. Uh, this one my uncle gave me. He tears down old barns. So he found this the other day. It's a 1935 license plate from 1935. I thought that was pretty cool. We got a rat rod over there that's a 1933. This is a 1935. <laughs> pretty close. I don't know what the odds are of that, but he gave me this other one. It's not quite as nice of shape, but 1962, the year of my truck I'm working on. So I thought that was pretty cool. But yeah, I'll add, add them to my collection. And yeah, my collection is getting a little bigger. I'll keep adding as the years go by. Almost 
Uh, I'm gonna figure out um, depth-wise what I need to cut those frame rails off. They say the end of the frame, that piece, piece up there, that's the end of the frame cut off of that truck out there and the parts truck. So I just got to figure out, I think I got the height about right, maybe a little lower. And then need to figure out how far out it needs to be. It needs to go in another inch, I think. I'm thinking in another inch and we'll figure out how long these need to be cut and then we'll lay a ruler flip the bumper upside down lay a ruler like a straight edge and figure out that'll tell us how long these are supposed to be adjustments I want to make. Um, but that's it. Got that on. As long as it could be. Also these, also these uh, bolts are not quite tightened up all the way. But yeah, uh, I'm thinking about maybe starting to uh, do a little shorter, shorter videos. Hey, wait, come here, come here. I'm thinking about doing shorter, shorter videos and then post more often. So you guys let me know if, if that's what you guys would want. Cause I'm thinking it might be better to uh, post more often and then have shorter videos. But yeah, I'm open to suggestions. I'm not really stuck one way or the other. Long videos do take a lot of editing and a lot of uh, 
lot of time uploading because they're so long. But yeah, I'll have to decide what I'm going to do. But I'm thinking about doing that these next couple of weeks. So if that's the case, um, come back tomorrow and we will be probably doing the inner wheel wells, the inner fenders. So, yeah, that's how we do it.